So, do you ever feel like there isn't enough time to get things done that you want to get done in your day? Um, well, if so, today I'm going to give you some tips to make sure you get everything done you want to get done and just how to get more time out of your day. Uh, being a go-getter and entrepreneur, it's really important to know how to use your time. So by the end of this video, you're going to know how to get everything you want to get done in the day and get more time in your day. Hey, Conscious Go-Getters. I'm Tiffany Shelton Mariel and I am a PhD candidate in clinical psychology and I'm also the owner of Conscious Life Shop and I make videos teaching conscious go-getters how to create a sustainable hustle. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel and I'm just going to jump right into these tips. Um, so my first tip is to streamline and prioritize. You want to make sure that the time that you are spending, you're doing it on your high return activities, your HRA. So you want to make sure that you're prioritizing what are the most important things and what are going to be the things that give me the highest return on my investment of time. And you're going to want to streamline your time to focus on those things first and then spend less time on those things that are as not as high on that list as far as what they're bringing back to you so part of getting everything you want is really or having time for everything you want is really looking at the things that you want and looking and saying do these align with my purpose do they align with my goals and removing any activities any new projects old and new that don't align with your purpose and that's really going to give you really time for the truly the things that you want to do so that it's very important to streamline and prioritize you also want to stay organized so that's my first tip streamline and prioritize my second tip is to prepare and plan so a really good way to get more time out of your day is to use block scheduling so at the beginning of the week you're going to look at your week and you're going to put blocks and chunks for at different times in the day of, of when you want to get these things done you're going to start with your high priority task make sure that those um, tasks have enough time and then you're going to add the rest of the times into your schedule you want to then move on and and work according to your schedule not according to your to-do list because then you can get distracted by different things and when you're working you want to make sure you keep a notebook by you so if you do get distracted with ideas or whatever may be you can write those down and just stay focused on the thing that you're working on so back to my tip prepare and plan um, you, some other things you can do to save time during your week by preparing is meal prepping every Sunday morning we wake up and we do meal prepping that way during the week all of our meals are prepared we just put them in the skillet to heat them up because we don't use a microwave we're conscious over here to not kill those nutrients but we just prepare them very easily by warming them up during the week and you can also stick to your like nutritional um, goals as well by preparing on Sundays and that's a really great way to save time you can prepare all your lunches and the dinners beforehand and you should also take some time to prepare and plan your schedule and also just plan and look at your week another thing you can do to save some time is to uh, pick out your clothes on Sunday pick out what you want to wear for every day during that week that way when you wake up you can just pop up and go your food is already done your clothes are already picked you don't really have to think you just look at your schedule Schedule. everything is planned out and you'd be amazed at how much time this is going to save you in your week just by preparing and planning um, I am looking at my notes because I want to make sure that I get you guys all this information so if you see me look down that's what I'm looking at my third tip is to stay focused staying focused is going to save you a lot of time so I touched on this a little bit when I talked about block scheduling and not getting distracted writing things down as you're working um, but beyond that there are some other ways that you can stay focused uh, by batching your work um, so when you start a task it takes a lot of time to just get started Started. Um, so you can save time by just starting once and batching like items together at the same time that way you save time of starting over again and you can kind of get all those the kind of things similar things done at once for instance I shoot all my videos in one batch I do my photos for social media in one batch I do my accounting type of stuff accounting finance stuff since I'm already in there I might as well do my financial planning while I'm already looking at my accounting and I kind of put like themed items together that way I'm focused on those things and I can really save time by not having to start over and have that same initiation time again 
Um, if these tips are making sense to you, write Conscious Go-Getter in the comments below. And if you have any questions, please just write them below and I always write back to my comments. My fourth tip is to avoid procrastination. Procrastination just is a waste of time. There's no way to get around it. So you want to, one way to avoid procrastination is to break big projects down into smaller projects. And then when you're starting, um, when you're looking at things, you never want to start a task that you're not going to finish. So by breaking tasks down into those smaller tasks, you're guaranteed to be able to at least finish that task to get towards that bigger project when you sit down. Similarly, you never want to open an email that you can't really respond to that's just another form of procrastination looking and then having to come back at it and as far as procrastination goes a really helpful tip is to if you can do it under two minutes and it's something that's presenting itself just do it in the moment don't add those things to your to-do list because that just adds extra time and getting it done if it can be done in two minutes let or less like replying or any other task that's very short try to get it done when it presents itself my next tip is to use your entire day. So I wake up in the morning early and I work before I go to work. <laughs> and that, it sounds crazy, but it's actually one of the clearest times for most human beings. If you're looking on, uh, looking and if you're looking to figure out how to wake up early and not feel tired, I have a video on that and I'll just link it below. I don't know why I made that weird face. Um, I'll make it, I'll link it below in the description below on how to wake up early and not feel tired, which is gonna change your life and it's gonna allow you to hustle even better. So I wake up at 4.30 a.m., I do my spiritual practice and then I work for a couple hours before I go into work while I'm in that clear space using my entire day. And then another tip is to save those activities that you want to get done like working out or some of those creative activities those activities that are less mentally taxing save those for the end of the day or even on your lunch break if you want to go work out during your lunch break I work out after work and I kind of do a lot of my creative more visual things um, in the afternoon or after work because those just come naturally to me so pick the best time to do your activities and really use your entire day also use your Sundays as I was saying before Sundays are great time to rest and restore we all have heard of self-care Sundays but if you're a hustler and a conscious go-getter you also have to use your Sundays to prepare plan and strategize and that's gonna help you so much to save time and then my last tip is just on further reading. If you're really looking for how to make more time in your day, it could benefit you to understand some of these concepts on a deeper level. And I have two books that I want to recommend to you. The first book is Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. If you haven't read that book and you're a conscious go-getter or you're a hustler, you need to read it now. It's going to change the way you work. And a lot of these tips that I, I have in here are based on that book. Another a book that I love that a lot of these tips I've gotten that's helped me and these tips have come from is Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy and it really has changed the way that I look at time management and getting the most out of my day. I understand what it's like to have um, your ambitions but also have a life and also want to do things for yourself like exercise and meditate and so I hope these tips help you get everything done that you want to get done and have the time to do everything you want because you deserve that. So let me know what you think of these tips. Do they work for you? Are you thinking about anything else that I didn't mention? Please comment that below or if you have any questions I always respond to comments um, and thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more of my videos Videos. Like I said, I have a video on how to wake up early and not feel tired, which I'll link below. And um, happy working, happy hustling, and happy using your time to the fullest. Namaste.